Hello my buddies, have you ever heard of CPA grip or CPA in general? Well, CPA stands for cost per action and CPA grip is an affiliate network that connects advertisers with publishers. It operates on a performance based model, which means that affiliates earn a commission when their referred users take a specific action, such as signing up for a newsletter, filling out a form or making a purchase. As an affiliate marketer, you can sign up for an account with CPA grip and gain access to their market place are where you can browse through a variety of offers to promote that align with your target audience or niche now that you have an idea of the background uh, about cpa grip uh, let's look at how to create and verify a cpa grip account and not only that uh, we are going to fill the tax form documents and add a payment method sounds cool uh, let's go let's begin with creating a cpa grip account and for easy access of the website you can get the link in the description or you can go to google and type cpagrip.com all right so since i already have an account uh, let me use incognito tab for easy walkthrough and here is the first page with home a tools about contact register and login all right login fees for those ones uh, who already have an account so for us we are going to click on register or sign up here so let me just click on register power of mindset yields welcome all right here we are you can see that uh the page has loaded and all you have to do is to fill in this information that is required and most especially this one that has a red star uh, so let me just begin and i take you through uh, for example you would just put in uh, my name which is uh, orba force and that is the, my first name then i would put in uh, my last name maybe this one okay then if you don't have a company like me then you have to input uh, your name again so i'll say answer the user right so the website if you also don't have a website you can put in uh, your social media profile but uh, me personally i do have uh, a youtube channel and a blogging website uh, so let me put uh, my blogging website pom yields onebloxpotcom here the street address i can fill uh, my street address so let's just pick any then the country is uganda the city is uh, just fill me this one Kisoro. Then state or region, uh, in my country we don't have uh, the difference between a state and a region and therefore we fill in the country which is the state. Okay. Then the phone number, this is the postal, co postal code, we don't have a, a postal code. So what I do, I just use uh, a dialing number. So if you have a postal code, please fill it in here. But if you don't know it, you can also go to Google and uh, i just type uh, like what is kenya's postal zip code if you are from kenya then you can click here right so you can see for kenya uh you can find it here like nairobi's postal code is 00100 but in uganda we do not have one okay like my country so what i do i just use the dialing code which is 256 okay and here you fill in your number and i will do that uh, real fast then your skype id if you don't have one uh, you can get it from google just type skype.com and click on download skype to be able to sign up for a free account and get your skype id or name i have made a video on how to create a skype account and get the skype id and i will leave the link in the description for you to access it like me already i have a skype account and i uploaded or downloaded uh, the application on my phone so once you click there and uh, remember the interest is to get our skype id or name what you do you click on the profile pic on the top left corner from there click on the skype profile and you will see your skype name uh, here though i'm hiding mine i uh, just copy and paste it to the other side as required from there fill in your email address uh, password confirm it uh, then your time zone uh, once again if you don't uh, know your time zone search it on google and i'm sure you're going to find one just for example if i use kenya 
I can get it from here, all right? So after clicking it, uh, let's go to the next part, uh, which is uh, where did you hear about us? That could be YouTube, uh, social media, or from uh, an article or blog you read. Any can work. Then after check all these three boxes to show you have agreed to terms and conditions, thereafter click on register now. Then after your email address should appear here and your Skype ID as well, although I'm trying to hide my credentials. Uh, then the next thing is uh, to fill the tax form documents. For non-US citizens, uh, you are going to click or choose International Publishers, which is File W8 International. And for USA Publishers, you are going to choose File W9. So let me assume you are non-USA citizens and let's go with the International Publishers, which is File W8. And we fill the form. So if I take you through the um, the tax documents, it's as simple as the registration process. The name of individual or organization that is the beneficial owner, uh, then you are going to use the same names you used on your registration. And you see I used my name, country of citizenship, I used my country, and a permanent address, I used the address I used in the registration, city, my, the same city, state. That is my country. First of all, this is the code I use. Then the country, you can see it here. Then you jump these spaces uh, because they are saying mailing address if different from above. So the, for me, they are not different. So I left this part. Then you go to number five, which is the taxpayer identification number. If you don't use or don't have a TIN number or tax identification number, you select here or not applicable. You just continue. Foreign tax identification number, if any, optional. This is optional, which means it's not a must. Then this uh, reference number is auto-generated. Then you have to put there your date of birth in this order. Okay, the first is the date, followed by the month, then the year. All right, so after you have done that, you scroll down uh, on part two, which is claim of tax treaty benefits. You have nothing to do there. Then certification, you also leave it there. Then uh, capacity in which acting you just select self. Okay. Then after that you click on save. Okay. So I hope this is the, going to help you uh, fill the tax uh, uh, form document. Let's go to the payment center. Now to fix this, uh, click on the payment center. Then after this interface will uh, be displayed. Which here on payment method there are three. Uh, we use Pioneer, Prepaid Mastercard, we use Pioneer, Global Bank Transfer, SCH Transfer for those of US only, and PayPal. Me, I prefer PayPal, but you can choose Pioneer or PayPal. But if you don't know how to go about this, uh, there are very many tutorials on YouTube on how to create a Pioneer account, uh, irrespective of where you are from and uh, that of paypal account you can either go to google and type in uh, paypal.com or pioneer.com or you can use uh, youtube uh, to take advantage of the how to so how to create such accounts eh? all right i think you will be able to maneuver or go through that and after you are confident you enter the payment method as paypal and uh, the same paypal email or the email address associated to your paypal account all right so after that you will have to click on save okay note that cpa grip pays after 30 days and the minimum payout is 50 dollars all right congratulations for reaching this far and if this has helped you kindly hit the subscribe button like the video and turn on the notification bell icon for upcoming videos until next time, peace.